Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of the Curse of Monkey Island. Uh, as you remember from last time, we were trying to escape the crypt um, that we'd just been uh, revived into, I should say. Um, we were speaking to the corpse bride for a little bit over here. And Murray's scared as we sort of picked up his skull and we're about to sort of try and scare the gravedigger. So, let's get to it. I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Okay, so let's try this on the lantern this time. Murray, do your stuff! Okay. Ah! Mortal fool! Release me from this wretched tomb! I must be set free, or I will haunt you forever! I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture! And never more will you be able to find socks that match! Alright, hang on. I'm coming. Great work, Murray. I... I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent! <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There. It's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. It's useless now that it's out of oil. Cool. Let's get out of here. Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd you go? What an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. So in the back room here, there's, uh, yeah, there you go. Test certificate. I'll grab that. That life insurance, remember, guys? We need a death certificate for one of those. I'm going to speak to uh, this fortune teller as well. I believe we need to get these tarot cards. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! Hi, I'm Guybrush. And you would be? I am Madame Zima, mistress of the ancient arts, a precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool. You're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever. Tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines. Giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. So, are you gonna tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! What is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. Once again, it is death. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. The card says death. Hit me. Death. How many of those cards do you have, anyway? How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? Demon! Demon!
Look, a three-headed monkey. Ah! Then the prophecies were true. Where? I don't see anything. He must have run away. This is a very bad omen. Cool. We've got the cards. Got the certificate. Uh, oh, one more thing we could do actually over right here. We have the crowbar now, don't we? So let's go upstairs. Let's crowbar this. Let's crow by the bed. There he goes flying out the window. Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Really? Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Hello? Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh. Marry me. Oh, yes, Charles, yes. A thousand times, yes! Then kiss me, my love. Almost brings a tear to the eyes, guys. Almost. Almost brings a tear. Cool. Romantic. Okay. Got the ring. Uh, she needs a diamond. So... Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? Yeah, yeah, uh, nope, nope. She's not on Plunder Island, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me, Guy Straightwood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride! And more slaw! Curse those They never give you enough slaw with these bad wheels. Bit of a, um... Pause there, sorry guys. Uh, right. Um, can we go in here yet? Umbrella. Oh no, let's try that. Oh, that's on Mega Monkey, I think you can use the. Uh, It's full of sugar water now. Right, so sugar water for the fireflies, guys. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Mm, bet that water sure tastes good. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. Huh. Boy, it's windy up here. Lantern. 
the lighthouse. I can't use the jar with that. Sorry. I can't use the jar with that. There the is. lighthouse is working now. So now we should have a new friend on the beach. In fact, before we do that, let's get his money. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, I've got your proof right here. A death certificate. Well, this must be some kind of mistake. Uh-uh, it's right there in high-res black and white. I died. Give me a lot of money. Hmm, it looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just give me my money. That's what I mean. Oh, thanks. Cool. Now let's go to the beach. And let's... Go across the next island. Who are you? I... I am the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will never again dare that wretched fog without a compass. Once too often did I tempt fate. And just look what it did to my clothes. Just look at me. I'm soaked. Well, you know, I just happen to have a compass right here. Then, poor mortal, I will show you the way. Rough seas and untold dangers await you on the mysterious Skull Island. I'm not afraid. You will be. You will be. <laughs> Homage to uh, Star Wars, that. Even the bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of... Skull Island! That's a duck! What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary! If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway. See that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Good luck. Thanks. Cool. Uh, let me just go to the... Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Never used it before, but uh, 
I'm sure you can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You, you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Actually, more like 120. Oh, well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this. Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Whoops! Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... Threeport. Guybrush, Threeport. Very well, Mr. Threeport. I am King Andre, and this is my associate, Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? The Good Soup Family Diamond. LeChuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <sighs> Please, sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here for the right price. <laughs> You're evading the whole diamond issue. The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. That diamond belongs in a museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. So do post-impressionist paintings. What the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. You're a madman. Am I mad? Am I? <laughs> Is it madness to sit in a cave at the top of a deserted island, accumulating vast amounts of gold and jewels and stuffed animals, stockpiling plunder from across the Caribbean and passing the savings on to you? Is that madness or genius? Good point. I take it back. I'm not crazy. My prices are. Uh, Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood, but Let's it looks as if our game guys. of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. My partner is right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards, uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes, fair. <laughs> this is Could you stop cheap. laughing like that? It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> then I'll give you a brief explanation. 
The game is the simplest variety of five card style. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? Of course I trust you. Very well. <laughs> Let us begin. Good card. Daddy needs to lift the pirate curse. Take a moment to look at your cards. Leaving so soon, Mr. Hey. Threepwood. I was just stretching my legs. I want to keep playing. Okay. Choose the tarot cards instead, guys. Five of a kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I am talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. <laughs> There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiots! You blew off the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you will. Forrest! Hit him, not me, you cretin! Who are you calling a bull for? There he goes! Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere. Beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. Oh, wait. Where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by Northeast. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks a bunch. Ah, whoops. I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have covers like properties for a short time. All right. So... So much of time? Fast guys, right, let's get Elaine back to normal. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. Awesome. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Probably deserve them. Elaine, are you alright? Guybrush? Webb? Where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. <laughs> Not quite as fine as we thought. Okay, part five. That be well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream. I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freewood. 
T'was not long ago that I trapped ye here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've Big seen whoop. this place before in some terrible nightmare. T'was no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Never Star Wars. Oh, no. It can't be. But it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. Aye, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There'd be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I'd be intended to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine a treasure. Ah, you're wasting your time, LeChuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with you. Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh, she loves me. Does not. Please don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me... There'll be no more Monkey Island sequels. No sequels means no work for you. You'll become just another has-been that nobody's heard of. Oh, that could never happen to me. I'm LeChuck. Do you know the name Bobbin Threadbare? Uh, no. <laughs> exactly. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood. But I tell thee, that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves! Yipe. Anyway, Elaine really loves me. Does not. Does two love me? Does not. Does two infinity? Does. Ah! Curse you and your diabolical debate skills. But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did, down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all, immortality. But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> Granted, people may find me a bit unapproachable now, and the smell does take a while to get used to. But it'd be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. I've heard enough of your evil stories. Let's get this over with. But there'd be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. See, I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. La 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 la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. Very well, Freepwood. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I think you deserve a timeout, young man. I regret nothing. <laughs> it's not locked. Your plan was flawless, LeChuck except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. <laughs> Mini guy brush. He's taking Elaine on his roller coaster of death. I've got to reach her before she becomes his undead bride. What's happened to me? Head foggy, can't think. I'm swimming. Must concentrate and rescue Elaine. I've got to save Elaine. How can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy? If only I could think straight. Must clear my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Whoop Carnival, little guy. 
Come on over here and meet your old pal, Dingy Dog. Oh, for crying out loud. How can I win one of these fabulous prizes? Well, that's easy, <laughs> matey. If I can't guess your weight or your age, you get to pick what you want. What's the catch? <laughs> There's no catch, it's just that easy. I'll bet you can't guess how old I am. <laughs> bet you I can. A little fearsome buccaneer like yourself must be seven years old. Ha! Wrong. I just so happen to be 20. <laughs> well, do you have any proof for your old pal Dingy Dog? You calling me a liar? <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> I have my proof right here. Scum Actors Guild membership card. Guybrush Threepwood, age 20? Uh, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Pick your prize. All right, guys, let's go for... Give that. me that anchor. I'll take it away, son. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your stay here at Big Wolf. Look into your heart. I'm the prize you really want. What? You picked the anchor? It's a really nice anchor, Murray. Sorry. I can't believe you picked that stupid anchor instead of me. <laughs> now that's not very nice, little boy. What good is a dumb? I'm not gonna warn you again, kid. Yeah, you're really starting to bug me, kid. All right, <laughs> that does it. You're going down, little punk. Ow, he bit me. Hey, give me back that hair, kid. You're ruining the suit. It's not even a real anchor. Okay, so we got some hair, we got an anchor. I'm a real fucking skull. What we need to do here, guys, by the way, is I'm trying to... After all we've been through together. What kind of hang of a kill. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of cons did you ask? Why, I have every kind imaginable. I have the most distinct type of snow cones in the world. In fact, my cones are so original, so inventive, and so <laughs> unique that most are completely inedible. Let me list some for you. I have sweet cones, meat cones, cold cones, mold cones, bold cones with lime. Cones with slime. <laughs> veggie cones, wedgie cones, hedgy cones. I used some of my neighbor's edge in that one. Cones with spice, cones with lice, berry cones, hairy cones, dairy cones. And the Christmas, oh, 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 merry cone. So, what do you think of that? Hmm. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. Bye now. Okay. Uh, Bye. Oops, my snow. Let's have a look at the recipe. Uh, egg, pepper, and hair dog. Okay, so we've got pepper. We've got you would have made a lousy undead monster anyway. I'm going to wait for an owner Sorry. who understands my need to bring fear and pestilence on the likes of you! I want to shoot the cannon! I want to shoot the cannon! Not right now! Oh, but I want to see the cannon fire! Beat cheeks, half pint! Look, man, I pay your salary. You want me to tell the Chuck you've got unhappy kids running around here? Okay, okay, you little... Did you just hear something? No. Weird. Maybe it's the acoustics of that smelly giant head. Shut up, kid. Okay. Get out of here before I call up the demonic legions of Hades and set them upon you like a swarm of angry locusts. If you value your life. Yoo-hoo, stinky Mr. Rat. Hey, get out of there, you little punk. What are you going to do about it, vermin boy? This'll teach you. Okay. 
I think we need to set up some kind of assets on the thing because it's melted already. So let's go back to that guy. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. <laughs> Bye now. Okay, if we... That meringue looks tasty. Mmm, pepper, uh, hairy. Ooh. The pepper helps, though. Part as well in this game. Um, Too late for me to get out. Let's go out here. Where are they? Let's get a room. Let's get on the next train, hopefully. As you can tell, I have played this game before. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. Uh, I missed that car. It's okay. Let's get the pepper ready, boys. Pepper boys.
Good job. Alright guys, well that's the end of the game. Um, so it's a little bit rushed in some places. I said I knew what I was doing, so I had to sort of skip and didn't do as much dialogue as I could have done. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series. It's also the finale. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be playing more LucasArts adventure games, I'm sure, in the future. Um, again, please like, subscribe, comment, and again, cheers guys for watching. Hope Run, you enjoyed mortal. the game. But do not forget your arch nemesis, Murray. Mark my words, I shall return to haunt you. Do you hear me? I shall return. <laughs> and thanks for the end, uh, Murray. Okay, cheers, guys. This uh, is so unfair. Thank you, stop. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the series, like I say, um, I'll play some more games soon, we'll do some more adventure games, we'll do some more strategy games, FPS games, you name it, they're on the way. Uh, cheers for the support, keep watching, and thanks again. Cheers.